Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Gala Games whose current price stands at the 0.01893 dollar mark and here on TradingView the market is down by 0.47% and in this video I want to give you the short term and the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the Gala Games chart starting my analysis here on the daily chart and my data source for this chart is KuCoin and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart by giving you a brief of what has been happening here on this chart gala games from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all-time high at around the 0.84 dollar mark in a movement that i've been terming as a higher edge to have count one to the upside and after seeing the all-time high we have been seeing no prices in this massive abc corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the 0.018 dollar mark in a movement that i've been terming as a higher edge to have count two to the lower side and whatever we expect next after seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count 2 is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edu 12 count 3 before we see a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 to the upside and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this edu 12 structure and first give you a measure from the all-time high from the all-time high you can see that gala games is down more than 97 percent and that means there are chances that we might have seen the low for this higher edu 12 count too and also the bear market low might be in and that means very soon i'm expecting a very nice bounce to the upside to play out in the formation of this higher edu 12 count 3 to the upside and that is my long-term scenario here on the gala games chart and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 using a trend-based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 1.36 dollar mark and that is my long-term scenario that i'm expecting to play out here on the gala games chart once we regain our impulsive nature and also get into the recovery phase here on the gala games chart and getting to the chart patterns that i have in formation after giving you my long-term scenario so that i can give you the short-term scenarios that can play out starting here on the daily chart you can see we have this falling wedge which is right here which has been well respected giving us more than and three touch points and you can see this is a chart pattern that gives us a breakout to the upper side and for us to see that breakout we need to manage to break above the 20 day ma here on the on the daily chart once that happens i would also expect to see a breakout above this upper trend line connecting these lower highs and once that happens we can expect maybe a retest and once the retest is in then we can continue pushing even higher and once that happens that will be confirming the start of that impulsive movement that i'm expecting here on the daily chart in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 3 to the upside and jump into the four hour chart for further analysis and also give you the short term scenarios basing on the chart patterns that we have information over here here before we making our low at around the 0.017 dollar mark we had been trading within this channel which is right here which gave us a breakout to the lower side and the moment we saw the breakout to the lower side we even lost the 20 day ma and even saw a retest of the lower side of the channel and once the retest was in we continued pushing even lower making our new low down here and over here on the forward chart we also have another chart pattern that is in formation where i can connect these lower highs so connecting these lower highs we can see another chart pattern that is in formation right here connecting them like that then we also have these uh, lower side of that triangle which is right here and you can see this is a chart pattern that has been well respected giving us more than three touch points and this is a chart pattern that could give us a breakout to the upper side because if we take a look at it from the one hour chart where you can see we have managed to break out of the triangle to the upper side and that means in case we continue seeing an increase in the buying momentum there are chances that we might continue uh, pushing even higher and here on the one hour chart you can even see that we have seen a retest of the upper side of the triangle which is right here that is this trend line connecting the lower highs and sketching out a minimum target area to the upper side for the breakout out of this chart pattern uh, which we can get by getting the height of the triangle 
right there and then placing it at the apex that is the area where we saw that breakout that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 0 0.02138 dollar mark and that means there are chances that in case we continue seeing an increase in the buying momentum also manage to break above the 20 day ma so that it can offer us support there are chances that gala games might be able to make it back to around the 0 0.02135 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out and those are my two short term scenarios that i expect to play out here on the gala games chat basing it on the chart patterns that we have information on this chart and also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 46 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have been able to print a bullish crossover here but you can see we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the buying momentum and that would mean maybe soon we might be able to print a bearish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated